Hi, I want to talk about some of the statistical symbols that we're going to be running into. Understanding the symbols, understanding what they specifically represent, or whether it's an operation or whatever, is like knowing the letters in the words that you're trying to learn to read. So it's just the very foundation of trying to read the formulas and to know what they're talking about. So one of the first symbols is just an X. X is gonna be an individual data element And actually, they will typically use a lowercase x for this. So it would be possible that you could type in an uppercase x and my math lab counted wrong because it was expecting a lowercase. You know how computers are. And then we have uh, a lowercase n and an uppercase n. Now these actually stand for number. The small n is the number in, the, in a sample. It could be the number of people, it could be the number of screwdrivers, it could be the number of antelope. So n is the number of whatever it is we're talking about that are in the sample. Capital N would be the number in a population. And then they also like to use uh, Greek letters a lot. <laughs> so mu is the mean of the population. Where the mean of the sample is written as X with a line over it. And they call this X bar is the way we usually read it. This, of course, is the Greek letter mu. It's like a U with a long tail in the front. So X bar is the mean of a sample. Now, statisticians hate it when you say average, by mean, they mean, they mean, they mean the mean. Uh, by mean, they're talking about what us normal people typically call the average. And this is the average that you get by adding all the data elements, and that's the X, right? So adding all the X's and then we divide by the number of X's. Well, that's N, little n, right? So if you add all the X's and you divide by N, they have a notation for the operation of adding all the X's together. And that is this, it's a capital Sigma. The Greek letter Sigma. It means get the sum of
So the formula to get the mean X bar of a sample is to get the sum of all of the X's and then divide by N, the number in the sample. Whereas we could also say that mu, which is the population mean, would be again to get the sum of the X's because they use X to represent an individual data element. So you still get the sum of the X's, but this would have to be every single X in the population. And then you divide by the number in the whole population. So when you see a formula like this, anytime you see the sigma, it means you're going to take all of the values for whatever the next thing is and add them together. And then we divide by, uh, in this case, the number in the sample or over here, the number in the population. 